<laughs> and this is fall around here. I wonder what winter is going to be like. My goodness, we have more beautiful fall weather in the forecast. More record warmth tomorrow. Record breaking temperatures. Well, if we don't break it, we'll at least tie it in some spots. You'll see more sunshine and you'll see more clouds kind of mixed together, especially for Thursday into Friday. So some shade, enough moisture in the atmosphere to form some clouds, but that's about it. It's going to stay dry. No precipitation in the forecast, at least through October 19th. Yes, we keep putting that date farther back. So hopefully we get some rain. I don't know, maybe snow would be good up in the mountains, right? Yeah, that's where we want it. Storm tracker radar satellite where it's been raining down south. Looks like a little bit of rain around Evanston, Wyoming. That's all associated with an area of low pressure. Very weak little wiggle in the atmosphere, basically moving across the central mountains tonight, tomorrow morning. That's what's going to kick up the wind. So that's why we have a red flag warning for Lemhi County. Good portion of Custer County and uh, higher elevations of Butte County. Winds gusting anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour in the afternoon tomorrow evening. Until then, winds will be in the light category for everyone tonight. 48 will be the low at Pocatell, a little warmer than it was last night. Idaho Falls, 42 degrees, certainly warmer than it was the 34 we had last night. Of course, 34 is typical for this time of year, so mild during the day and certainly mild at night and we're going to be warm during the day tomorrow. We'll top out at 81. That will tie the record for tomorrow's date, October 9th. Last time we were that warm back in 1953. Yeah, well, we broke 1953's record for today by one degree. Tomorrow we're going to tie it. Pocatello, not quite record warmth, 84 degrees for tomorrow's. The record high 83 is what we're expecting. A little bit of a wind out there, southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. And there's going to be a few more 80s up on the map. Salmon and Chalice will be in the 80s. We got highs in the lower to mid 80s off towards the west. Warmest temperature on the map will go to Twin Falls at 86 degrees, almost 80 down in Montpelier. 86 will be the high in Salt Lake City. Farther northwest you go, the cooler it gets. Mix of clouds and sunshine in Seattle with a high of 63. That's what we should be, not at 83 degrees. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. We won't be quite so warm on Thursday, but close to 80 for several days. Partly sunny all the way into Saturday, second weekend of October. Looking good, still looking dry. I don't fall seven day forecast. A little bit on the cloudy side for your Thursday. Maybe we'll see some sunshine poke through every now and again. Look at those 77s. We've got four days in a row we're going to see a temperature of 77. We've got four days in a row we're going to see a high of 74 in Rexburg. Tomorrow will be the warmest day coming up. Blackfoot seven day forecast, a warm 81 tomorrow. Give up some of those 80s for some mid to upper 70s. Comfortable, still above average. Teton area, seven day forecast, 74 on Thursday, but a bit cloudier. Maybe a little more sunshine for your Friday and Saturday and for the central mountains. That's for that red flag warning for tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. So the winds are expected to be gusty. And we get rid of that wind and get a bit on the cloudy overcast side on Thursday. I wish I could say there are some raindrops with those clouds. Nothing really. And then Friday, sunshine will start poking back through with highs this weekend in the mid 70s. Misty?